Hey guys, I am Said from Linux Plus. Today, I'll be showing you how to dual boot any Ubuntu along with your Windows. Dual boot means a system with two operating system that lets you install and use two operating system on your same PC. The good thing is you can install or dual boot Ubuntu along with your Windows just by following some simple steps. In this video, I'll show you these steps so anyone knowing nothing about Ubuntu and anyone knowing nothing about dual boot can install this perfectly and of course without losing any data. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in your first step, you need to download Ubuntu and Power ISO. I'll leave the download link in the description below so you can download it from there. And here I'm going to use Ubuntu 19.04. I will recommend you to use 18.04 uh, or any uh, long term support version. If you talk about the power ISO, some people don't like that because uh, they receive alert from their antivirus while downloading power ISO. So if you want to stay extra safe, then you can use Rufus. It's not a big deal, but I feel comfortable with power ISO and I think power ISO is better than Rufus. That's why I'm going to use power ISO here. So if you wish, you can use any application to make bootable USB. You just need to make a bootable USB. That's it. So after downloading them, you need to insert your pen drive and then you need to run PowerOSO as an administrator. As I'm using a free version, I have to wait a little bit and then after continue unregistered. So then hit tools, then create bootable USB and then select your USB drive uh, and uh, then I have to select Ubuntu ISO file. So here it is, just select that file and hit open. So after selecting that I need, can start the making bootable USB and then yes, okay. So after a moment uh, you will see this message and then hit okay then close it. Now our uh, bootable USB is done. You can see it's uh, 3MB, it was uh, at least uh, 8 GB pen drive and I'll show you how to fix that at the end of this video so don't forget to check the end of this video if you use power ISO and if you don't want to use uh, power ISO then you can of course use Rufus and uh, I'm going to show you how to make bootable USB with Rufus first of all you need to choose USB drive and then uh, you have to choose boot selection from boot selection you have to select disk or ISO image and then select your ISO file that you downloaded and leave everything default and then start as I already made a portable USB with the power ISO I'm not gonna do it again so after that you need to right click on your PC my uh, this PC and then manage and then we will show this you know From here I need to make some free space to install Ubuntu there. You can uh, make free space from anywhere from any drive or you can uh, shrink volume or you can even you can delete any drive. And I'm going to delete the drive 30 GB drive. You can uh, make a 30 GB, 40, 50 or even 100 GB for your Ubuntu. I'll recommend you to make at least uh, 30 GB so you can install Ubuntu easily then. So after that uh, you need to restart your PC and uh, get into your boot selection device. In my case as I'm using Gigabit motherboard I had to use uh, F12 button to open this setup. Uh, in your case it can be different, it can be F2, it can be delete, it can be escape or any other button. Just find out a way how you can uh, boot your USB drive. So after that uh, you will see that uh, menu, try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu as I am going to install Ubuntu so I am going to select the install Ubuntu. Uh, you can try Ubuntu by using this option try Ubuntu. So from keyboard layout you need to select uh, English or whatever your keyboard language is. Uh, from there uh, you can install normal install and minimal install. I will recommend you to select uh, normal install so you will get uh, some driver and uh, some necessary application pre-installed and after that you need to select download updates while installing Ubuntu and install third party software and for that you will need to connect to the internet. Uh, make sure your internet is connected and if you can't uh, connect to the internet uh, don't worry you can leave that you can do it later and you can update your uh, operating system later it's, so it's not a big deal after that you have to select something else because uh, it will give you more option and manual is always better so 
so here you can see our free space and our uh, other drives so the most important part is don't delete any drive that you need okay if you delete any drive it will be permanently deleted so be careful with that don't delete any drive where uh, your personal data or photos or information are stored uh, you can see we already made a free space uh, we are gonna use this space so we need don't need to delete any drive just use the free space to use the free space i need to select the free space then the plus second below and you can see it's 30 gb here and if you are using a pc with four less than 4 gb ram then you need to create a 2 gb swap area just select space and create the swap you can make a 2 or 3 gb for swap area if your ram is less than 4 gb and as i have more than 4 gb ram i'm not gonna make any swap area here so let's cancel it so let's uh, create a root drive here just select the free space then plus icon and then uh, select the size uh, it's 30 gb for me and i select a primary and uh, beginning of this space and then uh, ext4 journalizing file system uh, you have to select a uh, use as ext4 file journalizing file system and then uh, mount point you have to set uh, the root so that's mean your uh, ubuntu is gonna install there uh, you can install uh, create another drive uh, for home so i'm not gonna create home here because uh, home is not that much important so just uh, create the root drive so here is the root drive so our ubuntu will install there and now the next part is uh, device for bootloader installation you have to select a full hard drive location here say you have one terabyte hard drive then you have to select the full one terabyte hard drive if you're using two drive then select your main drive where your uh, windows are loaded say you, if your windows is uh, loaded into ssd drive and uh, you have one more you know, one terabyte sdd then you have to select here uh, your full ssd and uh, if you have only one drive then select uh, the full drive so the next part is uh, install so just hit the install now button so if it's okay then hit continue and after that uh, you have to select your location then hit continue and you have to create your account uh, your in fill up your information that hit continue after that it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes maybe 30 minutes you have to wait and after that uh, you will get a menu pop-up menu saying that restart now so if you see this uh, notification you have to remove your usb drive and then you you can hit the restart button and after restarting you will see that uh, graph menu it's a dual boot menu uh, from here you can get into ubuntu and get into windows so let's uh, open ubuntu now so you can see it's uh, working fine uh, so it's logging to our system so it's uh, working fine so now let's see our if our windows is working or not so for that you have to restart uh, your ubuntu and then restart and then select windows windows 10 or whatever version in your case and log into your windows so you can see windows is working just fine so now let's see how to clean your usb drive and get your usb drive pin drive back so for that you need to open power so as an administrator and then continue unregistered as i'm using a free version and then tools then clean usb drive and select your usb and then clean it and hit ok so after a moment you will see that message so hit ok now we have to format this drive again so let's format it So that's it, uh, hit OK. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got our uh, 8GB USB drive back. So thank you guys thank you for watching. If you have any problem or any question, you can leave that in a comment below. I'll always try to be there to help you. If you dislike this video, you can hit the dislike button. But if you liked it or it helped you, then hit like, get subscribed and hit the bell icon to stay notified. And this side signing out. See you in the next one.